What's going on Toy Fam? Project Piper Customs here. I'm just bringing you another little quick toy photography setup. But uh, I used a little technique which I haven't used in a while. And I wanted to uh, flick the camera on and tell you about it. And that is the art of using UV paints. You know those paints that you see when people go raving and all those chicks are all glow in the dark. Yeah, that stuff. Yeah. Ever tried applying it to an action figure to get some tangible lighting going? Well, now the idea's in your head, isn't it? See? Yeah. So, let's show you what I've got going here. Now, I have just acquired the new uh, Avengers Endgame Marvel Legends War Machine. Okay, and I obviously have Rocket Raccoon on the back. And I just wanted to create a scene from the movie still, uh, which you'll see now. Just a little simple setup, you know, close-up shot. But uh, I already have... I spin him around. I have Rocket on his back, attached with some sticky tack, and he's just got his other foot there behind the arm, and he's holding on to the port. That would be the gun, the shoulder mount. He's just holding on to that there, and they're just standing there looking all badass and shit. Just getting back into frame. Yeah, I've already got the shot, so I'm not worried about where they're moving now, but. Uh, Another little trick whilst I got you here, to get great focus on the face, if you're using a camera, if you're using a digital camera that is, I've got a Canon here, um, and you want to get precise focus on the face of your main subject, what the best thing to do is I find is to zoom using the buttons, I guess I'm like using the, the two back and forth buttons, so if I do that, zooms in, all the way out again, okay. Let's get him in a better position. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to get him close up. I'm going to get him about there. Okay, so it's contained in the frame. There you go. His arms and Rocket's gun is what my reference is. They're all in the frame. There you go. You get a nice close up of them. Now, to get precise focus, going back to what I was saying, I move my focal point on the digital screen right on War Machine's face, and I zoom in all the way in, and then I just adjust the focus, which is about there. And then I come straight back out, and the focus is right on him. Okay, and that's it, the focus will stay on him now for quite a while. Well, let me get the focus going on my phone because that's what I'm recording this on. But yeah, so the painting technique I want to use, I just want to give you a closer look at my setup here. So I've got my orb light at the back on orange, creating some rim lighting around the back of Rocket. As you can see there, it's just on his edge. And of course I've got this little one, it's on charge at the moment. I've got these off Amazon, got about four of them. And uh, yeah, that's just providing some just cut across, uh, shadowy, you know, just some uh, orange glare. And I've got my two little candle, it's just emitting a little bit of light coming up from the bottom so it looks like they're in a fiery war zone tissue paper backdrop that's all you need okay and i've got one little overhead light providing some just down light and yeah so let's get on with the painting technique and on about so there's a uv paint all right i've gone for this pinkish one we'll take these two little finger lights there they're doing nothing actually they're pretty much dead uh so yes so what i do is you get this stuff and i bought this stuff off amazon it comes in a whole like there's about six or seven of these all different colors white blue green you name it red yellow orange i just look at this pinkish one okay and with the thinnest paintbrush that i have which is there I do have thinner paint brushes, but one thing I have a bad habit of doing is not looking after them. And the, the paint brushes that are thin in this are all pretty much destroyed. <laughs> That's my thin one. And what I've done is I have applied it in the eyes. Okay, right in the eyes. Now, it doesn't go on like regular paint. It's uh, quite thick and it's hard to... Um, it doesn't like just go straight on like regular paint, you know, with a prepped surface. Uh, yeah, it does slide around a little bit. Okay, it's like trying to paint white onto black. It's just, yeah, it take a few layers before you get an even coat. All right, so now that I've already got the photo that I wanted to take, so let me just bring the figure up close and I'll show you what I'm on about. Okay, so let's get some better light going. Okay, so you can see in there that I have painted inside of his eyes with that 
UV light. Okay, go about three or four layers each eye, evened it out. And when it did get a bit messy and you know caught around the edges of the uh, the mask of the eye sockets are, yeah, you just want it within those those two strips. And I just took a little um, cocktail stick and I just scraped and evened it out uh, anywhere that you don't want paint. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. Oops, just nudged the camera. I'm going to show you with this. Again, I got this off Amazon, and it's a three-way light. First of all, it is a laser pointer, Woo! and it is also UV light, black light. Okay, so it's a UV light, regular torch, and a laser pointer. Good thing about this, this little one, is that it can be a UV light and it stays on, and it will also use a laser pointer at the same time. How cool is that? Okay, so now. You come and have a look at this. You see that? Yeah. The eyes are lighting up all on their own with a UV, little bit of UV light. Okay, let's get a bit lower so you can see. How about that? You could even do it for the arc reactor and anywhere else that um, has light up areas. All right, so just with a little bit of UV paint and a UV light, you've got yourself a tangible light effect for your Iron Man. So you don't have to constantly keep photoshopping it in. All right, so what I've done with this shot is I have turned it this way. So I've got the UV light on the eyes and I've hit it with the laser pointer at the same time. All right. So I've got the art reactor and the eyes in, in one shot. Okay, so I just wanted to share that little tr uh, tip with you. Especially on your Iron Man, I get Marvel Legends ones. I'm not too worried about you know painting and repainting. I don't really tend to do much with the higher end ones like the SH Figure Arts and stuff like that, uh, just because they're a more expensive figure. Uh, I kind of leave them as is. Um, so w even with painting, but with the Marvel Legends, as they're uh, at a fair price point, you know. If you screw one up or break it, you can just go out and buy another one, provided it's not a hot figure. And uh, yeah, so I have no problems repainting the Marvel Legends in any ship, shape, way, or form. I've done the same thing on two different Iron Man using the white uh, UV paint. I did it on my Hulk Buster for the eyes again, and also on my custom Mark One. You know the old old Mark One that Hasbro did and that they've just re-released like two years ago with the uh, Tony Stark suit body. That one. I, uh, I customised the entire thing and I'll show you a picture of that. Now, yeah, so I made all of that, customised the whole figure that was for a friend of mine, made it look as uh, more screen accurate than it ever did before. And on his arc reactor, sorry, Mr. War Machine, I uh, put about seven layers of the, uh, the white UV paint and uh, I'll, a little bit demonstration video for you now. There you go, it's effective. I learned this little trick off uh, one of the people's on Instagram. And yeah, definitely if you're an aspiring toy photographer, get yourself in the community. There's plenty of people to learn from. I'm still learning, so uh, don't hesitate in asking questions. Uh, the more that this information uh, is readily available, you know, the better off that we can all benefit from it. I find, you know, if if anyone withholds their tricks and tips, they're not helping the community. You know, we all want to be better as artists. So anything that I learn or uh, put into practice and get good at in any of these different tricks to um, improve photography, I will then instantly share. I'm an open book. And the more readily available this info is, you know, the, the more places that we can go to find it. It's not going to be hard to find this info. So that's my game with all of this, and that's why I enjoy doing these little toy photography setups, especially when I've got a little trick to teach. You know, uh, that's my aim anyway. So yeah, that's it, folks. I just wanted to take you a little bit behind the scenes. This little simple shot of mine, and the trick I've in uh, I've applied with the eyes, and just give you a good look at the setup. It's literally this all I have. No massive diorama, just a simple two figures, uh, a cardboard uh, with black tissue paper, an orb light, 
which is yellow. The more yellow lights you can get, the better, because they'll help you illuminate your fire effects and other stuff like that. I've got another little yellow light down there. Laser pen. You know I love my laser pens, for Christ's sake. And also, in the finished photo, you'll see, of course, I had to hit it with some vape. It was a bit hard to do, because I obviously had to hover the laser pen here, keep it steady, and then vape, and then tilt my head and blow it at the light so it fogged behind them in a nice yellow cloud uh, and then come back and make sure my laser pens online and get the photo before the smoke came along and started highlighting the fucking beam <laughs> it took a few tries before i could get the timing right but uh um, i've got the end result which you'll see at the end so yeah and that is it folks just wanted to give you a quick look at how simple the setup was and uh, how easy you can get a decent shot so there we are i uh, hope you enjoyed this one um yeah i've got I'm going to be reviewing the Mafex Iron Spider. I'm going to get that done over the weekend. It's a damn good figure. Very, very fragile and scary to handle, especially with those Waldos. But I'm trying to get a, a good thumbnail, a good toy photography shot for the thumbnail. You know I love a good uh, toy shot for the thumbnail. <laughs> so I'm going to try and get one of those down for you and uh, make the review entertaining as possible. I know there's a few out there, so I'll try and keep it different. So anyway, that's enough of me rambling. I uh, hope you guys have a good week and uh, yeah, until next time. <laughs>